Oh, I'm dribbling. <laughs> it's like Christmas. I'm sorry. <gasps> Very. <coughs> the sugar's absolutely got me. Oh, the icing is dry. God, I'm absolutely covered in chocolate. He is a melted little. Strawberry. You don't like the middle. Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you found me, but please definitely stay. I am so excited for today's video because it is a Christmas festive video. As you can see from the title, it is me eating Christmas snacks for 24 hours. I feel like everyone that knows me, my best friends, my family, anyone that knows me knows I am queen of snacks. I absolutely love snacks. So I feel like this challenge is gonna be easy for me. However, I do crave savory now and then. I haven't got anything savory. This is gonna be a little bit of a twist because I can't have gluten and dairy. So you are gonna be seeing all of my favorite Christmas snacks and new ones I've never tried before, all gluten and dairy free. They are gonna be vegan, so very exciting. So let's get in with me eating Christmas snacks for 24 hours. Let's do it. So this is the beautiful set of selection that we have. I'm so excited. So I got these bunny Cone bars, they are vegan, gluten free, and dairy free, as everything is. White chocolate snowmen. I also got this. I don't think I've ever tried just marzipan. So, those are the ingredients there. Obviously, people that can't have nuts and stuff like that. I then got these. How gorgeous are these? These are the hazelnut praline truffle snowmen with dark chocolate. Oh my actual goodness then i found this this christmas tea and i thought that was really cute i love a christmas tea so it's got honeybush orange peel cloves oh my god cardamom cinnamon everything then i found these and i was like oh my god i need these in my life these are vegan chocolate almonds free from gluten or refined sugar 66 minimum cocoa solids almonds cinnamon clove allspice coriander ginger oh my goodness so then I got mince pies because, you know, who doesn't love a mince pie? Although I don't really love them, but I like them when they're warmed up. So that is the ingredients there. Loving absolute life. And then I got these mini chocolate logs. So chocolate sponge slices covered in chocolate frosting and dusted with sugar. Yes, yes, yes. Then I found these and I was so excited, as you can probably tell. Truffle collection. Oh my goodness. Basically, ages ago, Morrison's did these white chocolate and strawberry flavored vegan chocolates. And then they took them away and I was like, no, but now they're back. So there we go. These are the flavors. I'm not really sure about the orange one. It looks a bit weird, but there we go. We'll go with it. Do you know, I'm not the biggest fan of salted caramel. I know everyone's going to probably be like, what? But I'm just not the biggest fan of salted caramel. I apologize. And then I got me and Spencer one of these, a Christmas cake slice. And that is free from gluten and milk. And this is exciting. So I'll show you that. Again, it's got the almonds and the nuts and stuff in it. But I'm very excited. So here we are, ladies, gentlemen, men, whoever you are, whatever you are. This is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next 24 hours. Oh my God. Hello angels, I really just quickly want to say a little disclaimer. This is by no means me saying this is a healthy diet. It's a 24 hour challenge. I will not be eating snacks every single day for the rest of my life. I will be eating snacks but I also will be eating substantial meals. I'm talking funny because I got my Invisalign in, sorry. But I just want you to know, little disclaimer, do not try this at home, or do try it at home, but also eat substantial food around it as well. But your baby girl's just gonna eat Christmas snacks for 24 hours, and then I'm gonna go back to eating normal. Just want to let you know, I love you. Okay, so it's a little bit chilly in the house, so I've got my lovely dressing gown on, and I'm now ready for breakfast. I'm slightly concerned about which one I'm gonna have for breakfast, but I thought, the best one for breakfast would be the Christmas cake slice because sultanas sometimes I have in my porridge. So that's what I would have, I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. There's cherries in there. I mean, they're like glazed cherries, but there's flax seeds, there's chopped dried dates. So I feel like this is the best one. And I'm gonna flick on the kettle and we're gonna have a bit of this Christmas tea. So let's have a little gander about this. I'm very excited for this challenge because I feel like I'm gonna ace it, however, I also feel like I'm gonna be rolling out of here like a Christmas pud. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of tea in the mornings, but I'm gonna smell this and see what we're saying. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that Christmas tea. Has anyone tried this? Spencer, this is unbelievable. Sorry, but that should not be allowed. That should actually not be allowed. That was like mulled wine, Christmas cake, cinnamon, everything you could ever imagine in a cup. Okay, so while we leave her to chill, oh no, I shouldn't do that. 
There we go. Slightly skeptical about this, but it's absolutely fine. I used to eat chocolate when I used to be able to eat dairy when I was back in school in year seven and everyone would be like, you're eating chocolate for breakfast. I literally have a bar of Cadbury's or a bar of Galaxy in the playground waiting for the school gates to open and everyone would be like, are you okay? And I'd be like, it's absolutely fine. My parents clearly gave me their sweet tooth. Oh, the icing is dry. Nice though. Bit chewy. Bit chewy. I've probably told everyone in the world and his wife. The time I was in tooth down this side, and I was only eating liquid food for five weeks maybe. So now chewing things is actually really weird for me to be chewing things, but this is very nice. I don't feel like I'm gonna get through all that because it's so sickly sweet, but I'll take it. I'll take it for breakfast. I want to have a little try of these for breakfast as well, because why not? Why absolutely not? Ooh, they smell up smell a bit. Oh no, I think it's my hands from the Christmas cake. Spiced chocolate almonds, almonds, cacao butter, coconut blossom sugar, raw cacao mass, lacuma, cacao powder, mixed spice, coriander, allspice, clove, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cardamom, orange oil, and vanilla. Wow. For anyone that can't have nuts, I'm really sorry that I'm showing you all of these nut. There we go. I like this little. They're very sweet. This is going to be a chew, isn't it? Okay, but on that side, I'm not getting much taste. Oh, I am. They taste a bit like a chocolate coated razor. They are nice. Oh my God, they're nice. I'm sorry, it's probably so painful for me to eat in front of you because your guys are like, what is happening? Why is she chewing just on that side? And then after I eat, I have to warm salt water. Very exciting. Now, I'm not a fan of alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, but I love mulled wine because it's so sweet. I remember me and Spencer went to this Bristol market once and there was this like big, Oh my God, it was like the biggest thing I've ever seen, like this big bowl. And this woman was making mulled wine next door. And then to the other one, she was making this apple, cinnamon. I have no idea what that was, but I would gladly just travel to Bristol. It was Bath Market we went to, wasn't it, baby? Yeah. Bath, I would travel any day of the week to Bath just to go to that market and get that bucket of apple sweetness. It was so good. Okay, here we go. I don't think this is gonna match up to it somehow, but we'll go with it. That's really, really nice. It's really warming as well. That is the one. Maybe I could dip my Christmas cake into it. We'll dip another chocolate inside it. What a substantial breakfast for your baby girl. Mmm, that's not, oh, that's nice. I got a little hint of orange then. Do you wanna come try some Spence? Tell me which one you think's best. Okay, so here's some of that. You try that and tell me what you think. He just goes straight in, he's like that. Mm, not good. Do you think it's nice? What do you think of the icing? Do you think it's quite chewy though? I like that. Do you like that? Mm. He likes thick it's icing. Like fake icing. Like, yeah. That's good. Do you like fake? Yeah, you did actually. Remember at your nanny Joy's mm -hmm. 90th birthday, you were eating the icing. You liked the icing. That's good icing. Okay, well, I've got one for you. Didn't I buy another one for you? Yeah, is there not anymore? Yeah, I bought you a Christmas slice so you can have one. So okay. I need to eat that one for my breakfast. And then have a go with one of these. I don't think you're going to like these as much as me. Okay. Because I love. This brand, the Raw Chocolate Co. Are they off the beach? No, they look like pebbles actually, to be fair. Free from gluten and refined sugar. What do you think? Winter spiced whole almonds, imperfectly drizzled with our pure raw chocolate. It's very raw chocolate, isn't it? A bit chilly in here, isn't it? What do you think of it? Chewy. Chewy, crunchy. Mm-hmm. They're quite nice. They're quite nice, aren't they? Yeah, no, you're running. Do you prefer the Christmas <laughs> Christmas no, cake slice? Yeah, oh yeah, Christmas cake slice, some real. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, yeah. it's Christmas. And then look. You've got to try some of this. This is the Christmas tea. Seems to be missus. Yeah. I haven't updated oh, that's the, the door. door. That's the door. Right. I'll let you try that. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> How are we, Hans? Nice to see you all. Hope you're all being festive. Let me have a little try on this. Hello. It feels so weird filming about yeah, meals, but hey, we'll go with it. What's this supposed to taste like? Anyone know? Let me know. Christmas winter spice. What do you think? It just tastes like water. Does it? Mm, hot water. What? Yeah. Why me up? No, I'm not getting any spice. Are you being serious? Smell all that in there. That's the spices you meant to be getting. It's my cardboard. I'm going to have to put another Christmas tea bag in for you. Wow. I smell it a little bit. Wow, that's, well, yeah. that's peppermint. No, spicy there. But it's got everything in it. Let me read you what it's got in it. I sent him. It's weird talking about you here. Really? Yeah, it felt like I was just having a little chat. I felt like you were cheating on me. <laughs> Check. Yeah, I'm 
joking. I'll check back in with you for lunch. Yeah. See you at lunch. Yeah, it's nice though. It's warming me up. Do you think? Yeah. Hello, beautiful angels. I just thought I'd come up into Hugo's room because basically I've got a really exciting video coming soon, which is to do with charity. And I'm not going to give you too much because I don't want to tell too much, but I'm just sorting some bits out in this room. So I thought I'd have lunch up here because today's been a bit stressful. So I feel like I've not really stopped, which has been good. But I will say one thing, after I ate breakfast, I was a little bit like, oh, I'd quite like like something like porridge or something like a piece of toast, you know? But it's fine. So we're gonna have these free from truffle collection. I'm gonna save some for dinner because I'm excited about this. There's chocolate salted caramel. Oh, I'll just try them all with you. It's like Christmas, I'm sorry. <gasps> okay, apparently you don't wanna be in there. Okay, <laughs> I'm absolutely all over the place. So we're just gonna take one, they just fall out. It's not my fault, don't blame me. Here, look. Spency, I've got a really good idea. You come up here with me, please, Angel. And we're gonna try these truffles and we're gonna, you're gonna have to tell me the flavor you think is which one. I'll do this one first. Okay, I'll bite it with you. Oh my God. Okay. Excellent. I've actually got to take my container out to do this. I couldn't even tell you what that flavor is. Let's have a go then. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I could not tell you what flavor that is. Mm. So they're all dark chocolate, one of them isn't. That's orange, isn't it? Do you think that's orange? Do you know what it tastes like? It tastes like um, you know, Quality Street. Yeah. When they got like the. Uh, yeah, I get you. The flavors in the middle. I get you. Okay, let's try Nails another one. Once upon a time, we could have Quality Street. Yeah, I used to be able to have Quality Streets about seven years ago. Mm. Yeah, when I was twenty. So what flavor was that? I'm going to tell you in a minute because I don't know. Let's have a go then. Okay. That one's easy. Yeah. <laughs> no. What do you get from that? Fudge. No, there's no fudge, baby. <laughs> what? Okay. What can I have an idea? Oh. I wanted more. <laughs> it is like a coconut. We know which one that is. Are you winding me up? Orange. Yes. Mm. Did you not get that one? Only at the end. Okay, so the first one mm -hmm. must have been salted caramel and the second one must have been vanilla. Right. I did not get any salted caramel in this one. Do you know them. all the flavours now then? I know them on the back, but I don't know which colours they are. What flavour is this? That's the one, I'm sorry, that is the one. White chocolate, talk to me. Just wait. Do you have some more? No, I've got loads. This is my lunch, I'm eating all of them. I'm not eating all of them, I'm saving some. I don't like the middle. Strawberry. You don't like the middle? Oh. That reminds me of Quality Street the most, the strawberry Quality Street in the middle. But it's white chocolate and strawberry. No. Oh my God, that was my favorite one. So which one's your favorite one then? I would say the second one's second, your favorite. Second, yeah. Thought so. Vanilla. Okay, Seven now, up. okay, we're gonna have more in a minute. Yeah, look. I'm pretty sure they don't wanna see us just chewing, but it's fine. Okay, but, now. What are they called? Mars, oh. What's, what's the texture of that? This looks weird, Spence. It smells quite nice. Does it? I smell it. Yeah, see, it's like what, yeah, man. yeah. I'm gonna pick this. Bit of a weird texture. Battenberg. Quite nice though. Mm. Oh, nice aftertaste, isn't it? Okay, which one do you What's want? What's it called? Ripley's, isn't it? Ripley's Battenberg. Is it? Yeah, like that. Oh yeah, like the angel cake. Is it the angel cake? Yeah, with like four squares. All right, well this is a good little lunch, so I'll leave you there. We're just gonna munch on these and do the rest of the bits we got. <laughs> I know you wanted to do it. You can I do know. it if you want. Oh. <laughs> they hit me in there. <laughs> Baby, that was like a big ball. That was like a snowball. Oh no. It really hurt. It didn't hurt. <laughs> Check back in with you at dinner. Yeah. Hello beautiful angels and welcome back to This Is My Dinner. I just want to quickly say, we ate way too many chocolates earlier. Like we were so stuffed. So this dinner, I feel like I cannot stomach any more sweet stuff and that's coming from me. Genuinely, sweetaholic but it's absolutely fine this is my dinner i know it doesn't look that substantial but it will be I, I mean right now i'm like no i know i love it i love it it's fine so i've got my white chocolate little snowman lovely i've got a lovely bit of hair there joy then i've got my milk chocolate yule log and then i've got my little men well he looks a little bit sad but these are the dark chocolate truffles i feel like i'm gonna not sleep tonight because i'm gonna be so high off all the sugar that i've congested congested ingested today but it's absolutely fine we're just gonna go with it so i'm gonna try this one first i was thinking i should heat this up i think it might be nicer oh my god oh my actual god that was like butter oh my god that is unbelievable 
Oh, like six of them. That is unbelievable. Wow. Okay, then we go on to the white chocolate. I was thinking of melting this as well, but. Mmm. Tastes a bit vanilla-y. Mmm. Sorry. Let's try the little men. I mean, no one really wants to watch me eat, do they? But let's try them. Mmm. That is nice. That is so sugary and like soft and creamy and oh. Okay, here we go with the little men. I feel sad. Oh my God. Hmm? What do they taste like? I want to just get the inside. I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate. That is very dark chocolate. But the inside tastes a little bit like Frere Rocher. And I'm most certainly here for it. Favourite, without a doubt, this. I mean, do you know what I want to do? Melt this and put it all over that. I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh my goodness, look at him. He is a melted little, oh God. I melted the little man at the side as well. Melted chocolate is my favorite thing. You know, my parents used to literally hide the chocolate. Oh my God, am I actually doing this? The white chocolate with the Yule log. The warm Yule log. I actually can't. Are you too full, baby? Yeah, well, what do, I try? What, do you, what do you want me to try? If you wanna try something, you gotta try it now, cause it's warm. Come down so the Huns can see your face. Show us your reaction on camera. <laughs> what do you think? That's nice, what's that? What happened to him? Oh, I've melted him, would you like to try it? It's very dark chocolate though, I don't think you'll love it. Do you wanna try, try the Yule log? Yeah, just try the, yeah, go, just try the. Oh no, you've had his head. His poor head. So is this like melted sugar? Basically. Yeah. Would, you like, would you like to try the your log just on our own? It's in the middle. Do you want one? They're the, honestly, I warmed that up, but you don't need to warm them up. Cold, I actually think they're nicer. Wow, I love how to use this year. Baby, you have no idea. Oh. I am going to have two bowls. Of, what is it? Hmm. What is it? Turn, turn. What, is it chocolate? Yeah, but like a lipstick. Oh my God, baby, what the hell is going on? Oh, no. oh I'm dribbling. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you more? Yes, please. Sharing's caring. I'm well, you've eaten all of it now. I'm gonna have to go get more. Oh, oh Hans, I'm sorry, but this is unbelievable. Like, genuinely, this is the best challenge ever. Don't know if I'm gonna sleep tonight, but it's absolutely fine. I'm coming on my you know what, so all the chocolate and goodness is good. Can you believe this is dairy free? There he is, look. He's taking one of me Yule logs. Oh, bloody hell. Chuck it everywhere. Very good. Unreal. Cold oh. or hot? Both. Ah! It's quite dark in here. Oh my god, I'm absolutely covered in chocolate. It's absolutely wonderful. I cannot stop eating these Yule logs. Well, I can now. They're all gone. Spencer had one though. Oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I felt a bit sick after the first one on my dinner, but I just kept eating. Oh my god. They're so sweet. I love them. I'll probably come and chat to you guys when I'm up. I like 3 a.m. wide awakes of sugar. I love it. <laughs> Good morning. I feel like I literally still have makeup on from last night, but it's absolutely fine. I am lying in bed and I am ready for my breakfast. My loving husband just brought it up to me, which I'm very grateful for. I feel like I'm not really having breakfast in bed though, because I'm having mince pies. These are the ones I'm having. They are gluten and milk free, packed with plump sultanas raisins with a touch of warming spices. Vegan, loving life. Apparently you're meant to put them in the oven, but I've put them in the microwave. It's absolutely fine. How am I gonna have you and place you somewhere? <sighs> okay, excuse the mess in the background, but here we go. I'm sitting on the floor so that I can put you on the iPhone box. I'm not the biggest fan of mince pies and I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas pud, but I love sultanas and I love spices. But I'm not sure I'm gonna like this. <laughs> what was that? Went to the back of my throat. See, I find them a bit sickly. Very, <coughs> the sugar's absolutely got me. I woke up this morning and the last thing I was craving was a mince pie. All I want right now is like porridge or a piece of savory toast, you know, with just some dairy-free butter on it <gasps> or some jam and peanut butter. Oh my God. But my 24 hours of eating, <coughs> <laughs> I can't. 24 hours of eating sugary stuff is, although I eat a lot of snacks though. So. See, the thing is, I actually prefer the stuff on the inside than the pastry. Or do I? 
No, I do like the pastry. It's very sugary. You know, when I was younger, I hated pastry. I hated pies. I remember my dad, because he was quite strict, fair play. He was like, you are not leaving the table until you finish. Because, you know, there's people out there that don't have food. My parents always made me know that. Like, there are people out there starving. So you eat your food. Do you know what I mean? And my parents wouldn't let me leave the table because me and my, my brother, my older brother, we wouldn't eat this chicken pie. Now I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I would love to have a chicken pie. I can't have pastry, but my dad literally made us not leave it. Angels, I really don't want this. I'm actually going to be honest with you. I really don't want it. I'm going to eat it though. Probably half of it. Probably really unattractive me just like playing with food. Mmm. Oh, that was a nice bit. Was it just a sultana? Mmm. Is it really embarrassing that I'm just picking the sultanas out? <laughs> all right, angels, I figured I've eaten all the mincemeat, so I thought I'd go back into these. I am in love with these, by the way. I'm absolutely in love with them. I can't stop eating them. They are the vegan organic spiced chocolate almonds. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are like Christmas to me. This is Christmas. Mm. Honestly, if you can find these, get them. Oh, actually, the orange oil coming through. I just read that on the ingredients. So I act like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've still got almonds in my teeth, so I'm really sorry. But that is the end of that challenge, the 24 hour challenge. I feel like I did well. I feel hungry still. Felt hungry last night. I felt like my tummy was rumbling, but obviously it's because I'm not having a substantial amount of food. Still, I really enjoyed doing it. Won't be doing it again anytime soon. I'll be eating my normal meals, plus all my snacks. So that was me eating gluten-free, dairy-free Christmas snacks for 24 hours. Please somebody let me know if you want me to do any more 24 hour challenges. I have loads that I have in my mind that are amazing. So let me know if you want me to do any more by giving it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, I'll be so, so grateful. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you. Love you. Still got food in my teeth. Oh, you need to shower, girl.